Face painting is common practice, especially at celebrations where toddlers take center stage. Over the years, the painting has become rampant at celebrations, especially sports competitions where the national team is involved. What began as face painting has extended to other parts of the body, including those earlier unexpected. 25-year-old Ayton Musa has been doing body painting for children at school functions and social events. He says about four years ago, he met his most memorable customer inside Mandela National Stadium. We first difficult reason being that most probably ladies, they can tell you to paint until the private part. You feel, you feel, so, you feel bad, but so long as you are working, you can paint that person. Face or rather body painting is so fashionable that it has taken spot by a storm. It is a good business for those with the finesse of painting. Yeah, you can invest 10,000, you can get something like 700,000. Yeah, it depends on the clients. Yeah, so, but according to today, today I think it's not bad, uh, however much customers they are available. And we have a lot of clients when you compare to other matches. However, sometimes the paint sticks for the first time users. This is washable. After bathing, it just goes. But I'll not bathe today and I'll not bathe tomorrow. I'll bathe tomorrow now. <laughs> While it seems obvious that the usual paint, especially to football fans, depicts the colors of the national flag, some painters and their customers can only imagine why. The gloss and sparkle that brought the smiles on fans' faces were indeed for a good cause and a good one at that. After 38 years of near misses and despair, Uganda has qualified for the Holy Grail. Anist Wisdom Chionga, NTV.